Hi there, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to how to model um, and we're going to start by opening Revit. We're going to open a new model um, and we're actually going to use architecture template because we're going to, we're going to create a building um, and press OK. Now in Revit, you've got um, a bunch of functions and yes, at first it can look like a lot, but to break them down, it's quite simple. We've got in the architecture tabs, we've got all the functions that we need to start creating a building. We've got a wall, doors, windows, components. Components can be anything from um, toilet seat. Oh, it actually tells you if you highlight, um, if you stay on it long enough. Toilet seats, furniture, um, equipment, etc. We've also got columns, roofs, ceilings, floors, um, and above. Today, I'm just going to make a simple, um, a simple house just to demonstrate how to actually use Revit. Um, one thing I like to do before I start, I like to use grids. Grids help uh, measure out things and make sure everything is in line. Um, so I'm going to start off by making um, horizontal grids. Let's do two meters. So we're gonna do two, this is in millimeters, by the way, just easier to work in. Um, I'm gonna do another one in two meters. And then another one in two meters again. Make sure when you do um, align them, you want them to, you want them to be highlighted like this. And that means that they all, lined up together like so. So we've got in the space that's four meters, six meters. Let's do another one. Um, oh, two, four, six, eight, let's do 10 meters. Like so, perfect. Um, and I might just actually add another one. We can also copy, oops. We can also copy and paste um, and do another two. So all together, I've got two meters, so two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 meters all around. Um, and we're gonna also create some grids going horizontal here and then we're gonna do some verticals. I might just start here so we can always extend them. Um, I'm going to make this, maybe we do another, let's do one meter for this set. And now that I have my desired amount, I'm actually going to change this to A. I'm going to make the ones going horizontal to be letters. So we're going to start off with A, actually. Now that I've got all my um, grids, I'm actually going to, instead of them all being numbers like that, I'm going to actually do my horizontals in letters, A, B, and C. And I'm gonna change my verticals into number. So 
So I've got one meter running around, um, sorry, so I've got one meter um, segments vertically and then horizontally I've got two meters um, perfectly <laughs> lay mark there. So once we've got that, um, keep in mind, these also are our elevation points and we are on ground floor. Um, I'm going to start by creating um, creating my outer exterior floor. Um, exterior. I'm going to start by creating my exterior walls. Um, to do that, I'm just going to go into this wall component. And we are going to start. Let's create one going all the way down vertically. Um, to one all the way to the end here. And maybe we have a little outdoor patio of some sort. Um, we can end it there. There we go. So we've got our walls here. Um, now I'm just going to check what kind of wall I used. We used. an exterior wall, so that's fine, that's perfect. Um, so now I'm going to create the floor and we can find that under architecture floor. And for my floor, I'm gonna use boundary lines and this is a really easy way to just, you're able to click onto your walls and that's gonna automatically create your floor. Um, there's multiple ways you can do it. You can do it by just drawing in, Let's say you wanted um, a hole in your wall, you can just draw it like that. Um, at the moment, I do not. So I'll do that. I'm gonna press enter. Um, actually, before I do, I might just move this. Leave this here. I might move this down maybe. Um, slightly like that. Maybe we do two meters off. I'm going to do press enter. What I've done there is I've decided to change my walls around. I'm going to move that wall the way here and we're going to have a wall there. And what I'm going to do is create another floor that, and I'm going to use this tool over here to just create that wall there. Floor. Sorry to create that floor. Now, um, I was using what floor was I using? So I was using this slab, um, but we'll keep we'll keep it to this. And in another tutorial, I can show you how to customize those walls. Now that's done. I am actually now going to add some internal walls. So we're gonna go back into walls. We're gonna find some options for internal. Again, I can show you how to customize this in the next video. Um, we're gonna go, so that's exterior, exterior. These are all exteriors. Um, This is an internal wall. Let's do this one here. So um, I have a bedroom going across here and I need it to be, let's say one, two, three meters wide bedroom. So I'll go to the rear and I'm going in between my grid lines like so. Um, let's make this room three meters by four meters. Um, I'm going to close that. I'm going to have this another bedroom here as well. Might as well make it the same. Um, actually, I might make this room, let's find the halfway point. Um, let's, let's make it, we can come here and type it in. Um, let's make it three. And here we're gonna make this room, let's make it three as well. Or we can make that into an office and make this into a bedroom. So we can do four 
and then change that into two and a half, and then make this one, oops, four, oops. We'll do that again, two and a half, and then move this one around and make that one four. Perfect. Just delete that that I made. Okay, so we've got an office, a bedroom, and then this would be our living area. This is quite a spacious living area. Um, we will make, I'll maybe have some more internal walls to create bathrooms. Um, we'll have a separate toilet here um, and then we can have a bathroom and laundry here or maybe we make that entirely the bathroom and that laundry who knows <laughs> up to us um perfect this could be the kitchen and then we've got the this could be the hallway and then we've got the bedroom here we've got the living area here this is quite spacious, so I might give back some more room to this. Make that three, and make that three and a half. Maybe this could be an office here, like a little office nook, and that could be another bedroom. Perfect, so we've got our internal walls, and I'm gonna create um, doors. So in our door panel, we've got a few doors here. Um, I'm gonna use that. Now we can flip and rotate the way we want our door to face by just pressing the space bar. Um, and that will continuously change the way that opens. Um, I'm going to make this room open by here and another room, we're gonna do the same but on the opposite side, like so. This is gonna be a laundry room, I've decided. So we might have a door that um, kind of slides. So we haven't got one here. So in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to um, how to load new families because we haven't got any options here. Um, so moving forward, let's, let's add what we can. Let's add some, uh, we need a front door as well. Just gonna make that bigger than the others. We want it to face this way, so we just turn that around, find somewhere in the middle for it to sit. Perfect. Got a door there, door there. I might just make might just move that slightly by half. to make it four and a half. And this floor here, I'm gonna make it wrap around the entire building by editing the floors. We're gonna move it up because this is going to be a balcony. Spread it to the end here. And move it slightly up. What I might do is let's cancel. This one's being a little bit tricky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back and select boundary line and just find where it's connected. Oops. There we go. Perfect. We also want a door onto our bathroom. That's going to be a sliding door, but this can be going to our bathroom like so. Perfect. Okay, so we've added our doors. Um, we do need another door to go in here, but we're going to see if we can load a new family. Uh, let's add some windows. 
Um, again, we've got some basic windows here. We'll use them for the time being. Um, so they're gonna pop one into for this room, have another one for this room. We might have that one sitting exactly in the middle. Um, let's have some windows here and some windows here. Love a window over here above the kitchen sink or something like that. Um, and we definitely want a window in the bathroom. And we might just put, we might actually put a window there. Now I made these all the same size, so we can actually change the size here. Maybe I just want a little window in the middle here that you can see out onto the balcony and then a larger window here. Um, and maybe in this window here, do we want a larger window or do we want again, maybe to do something smaller. something smaller here. Might look for a different type of window to place there, but essentially we've got our floors, we've got walls, we've got doors, we've got windows. Um, we just need a roof. Um, so we're just gonna go into the roof panel. Um, now here it's asking us to, if we want to create a roof on the lowest level or would you like to move it um, up? So we wanted to move it to level one because we're essentially we're at level zero. So yes. And again, we can use the boundary lines here to help us create the roof. Um, maybe we create one of this. Perfect. Press enter. Do you want to attach? That's created a roof. Now we can view this in the 3D panel down at the bottom here. Um, and it's just created us a hip roof. Now, if you wanted a completely different roof, we can change that. Um, we can actually move this around. That's essentially what it's looking like so far. If we go back to the floor plan. Here we go. Um, we can even add stairs if you like, um, but this is just gonna be a single story home. Um, Perfect. Um, now in the next tutorial, I will show you how to upload new families. Um, potentially, then we can then add in components uh, since we didn't have that many components to choose from. Um, perfect. I'll see you in the next tutorial.